Alright, so this is my 2010 Ford Escape. The battery's dead, as you can tell. Well, you can't tell, but here. It's only putting out like about 6 volts. But I just unplugged the ECU or the ECM to see if it would work, to see if to see if the 12 volt system would still work and it does. Here, let me let me turn it back on. As you can see, it all works fine. Stereo, it all works. And that, that's one thing I was worrying about. If you know, if you, because for all the car knows, the ECU isn't even in there anymore. So I was worried that if if you pull the ECU, that the 12 volt system wouldn't work. But it still does. Actually, let me test the blinkers. Let's see. Yeah. Look at that. Yep, they work. Have a turn signal. Yep. This is really good news. <laughs> that's great. Okay. So uh, that's all for the introduction to this car. See you later. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unbolt these bolts. I'll be back in just a second when that's all done. Just pulled the ECU. It's not very big. Not very heavy either, but this is what controls, you know, timing and, um, yeah, timing, fuel mount, like in the pistons and whatnot. Ford Motor, let's see if that, yeah, FOMOCO, Ford Motor Company. And that's it. I think I can sell this probably for like 60 bucks or something, so I'm going to see if I can do that. I'm gonna keep on tearing this uh, car apart. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna verify that it works fine. Uh, put the jumper back on, that it works fine when the ECU's out, not just unplugged. I can't imagine it won't. Yep. Yep. Stereo works, it all works. Of course, check engine light is on and the battery is definitely dead, but. Everything else works good. That is a good sign. Alright, so now that the ECU is gone, I'm gonna start pulling off all these plugs here, like on the sparks, and basically every plug that plugs into some part of the combustion engine system, you know, air intake, whatever. But first I gotta make sure that the battery, I'm gonna take off the negative, uh, negative terminal on the battery, just to make sure that there's no uh, power running through any of the wires. I probably should have done this earlier with the ECU removal, but I didn't, didn't think of it, so I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I just took off the negative terminal and just pushed it down here. You know, no circuit can be complete now, obviously, so the battery, no, there's no, no, no current running through any of these. So now I'm gonna start pulling some of these out and go from there. They're decently greasy though, that's why I put on some gloves. So, quick update on the car. I pulled, a, pulled out a bunch of plugs, the easy ones that I could get to real easily over here and whatever. And then I, I took the whole uh, fresh air intake off. It's pretty easy, it was just, I had to loosen this little clip here. Um, yeah, looks like that. And then it just it just unclips with these little clips here. And then I was able to just pull it out, and that's that's it for the for the fresh air intake. I, I still have to pull out this part, and and it's connected to a whole a whole hose essentially that where the air actually comes in. I think it's probably up near the grill somewhere. Oh. Just drop the filter, which was pretty dirty. So, probably gonna get rid of that right now. Um, yeah, so that's a quick update. Um, hopefully I'll be able to pull the engine soon. I just tested the 12 volt, 12 volt system all works fine. The battery is obviously dead. Um, but 12 volt works fine. So yeah. 
Alright, so I've made some more progress on the on the air intake. So I took off this bit, which seems like some kind of valve. Took it off. There was a connector that was really hard to get off, and I put it right over here. Oh, those are the, the bolts that hold it in. You can see on the one side, like that's like residue from uh, burnt fuel, and on the other side is clean. You know, it's the same material. So yeah, and that's it's a. Uh, it's New Year's Day now, technically, 2021, first day. So I think I'm gonna call it a night for now. Pretty good progress for the first day. And you know, now that the now that I know that the 12 volt system still works, I'm feeling pretty good about this whole process. Okay, so now it's the second day of tearing everything out of this 2010 Ford Escape, and I think what I'm gonna try to get out right now is is the radiator because obviously that won't be needed in the conversion and and it's pretty easy to get to. You just remove these couple of bolts here and I'm not sure what other ones, but it's not that hard. I'm watching a bit YouTube video on it and it seems pretty doable. So I'm gonna do that and see how it goes. So now I remove the, the rest of the fresh air intake is right along here, just one, one bolt that was up in here. It's pretty easy, and and the battery tray and battery. The battery is uh, almost 100% dead anyways. It was only putting out like 5 volts even when I tried to charge it for like a couple hours with my jumper kit. Um, so it's probably probably a junker. i got to figure out where to get rid of batteries. Um, took the tray out. There was a bunch of like battery acid in it too, which isn't, isn't generally a good sign. I did drop one of the bolts. Um, so I gotta find that. But it's still going pretty well. I was looking at the exhaust earlier and it looks like I might have to, instead of just unbolting it, I might have to actually grind it off with an angle grinder. So that'll be a little more exciting. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's still about it for now. Okay, so I've made quite a bit of progress since the last time I filmed anything. So I got the battery rack and everything. I don't know if I covered that. <clears throat> um, the rest of the fresh air intake I got out and then the radiator the radiator fan I took out the radiator I still need to take out one of the connections that I think is the is for the engine and then these um, for I think I think AC I'm guessing yeah, but they're metal I'm not sure how to get them off so I'm gonna have to watch some YouTube videos for that one and you see they go in there and Another thing I was just testing out is if you go in the car, I have the battery hooked up the jumper kit, obviously, or otherwise nothing would happen. Let's get the key in here. Yeah, so if you get that all, all going, obviously the stereo still works. But a big thing is that air is coming out of these vents. Obviously it's, there's no temperature or anything. But air is coming out, so that means you know when I convert it, all I'm gonna have to do is is hook up a, an electric AC compressor and an electric heater to those lines that are coming into the cabin area over over in this area, and it should it should just work. These dials probably won't work. I can that's not a big deal, but this dial still works, and it will still work because the um, it's a big uh, it's really good because the the blower fans and stuff will still work, whereas otherwise I'd have to rip out the center console and rewire that. So that is that is definitely good news. Um, but yeah, it's pretty rainy today. It's kind of a tough day to work. But I drained as much of the antifreeze as I could. It's all in here. It's quite a bit. Um, hopefully none got out, but probably some did. So yeah, that's, that's the progress up to this point. Soon I'll take off the exhaust and get the engine out, probably within the next week or so. So as you can see, I've made quite a bit of progress. I got the whole radiator and uh, condenser out. You can see right here, and uh, part of that process, I cut through the AC lines. I wasn't really thinking, and I forgot about the whole, you know, refrigerant thing. So I probably just <laughs> made a hole in the ozone layer, but that's... That's part of the process, I guess. So I got the green goo 
I looked it up and apparently they color some of it, you know, so you know where the spill is coming from, but pretty confident it's from where I, from where I cut the hose right there, the refrigerant hose. Yeah, so I'm going to get that cleaned up, but it's all out. I got the I got the radiator out and everything. There's a lot of space in here now. So yeah, progress continues. Um, made a bit of a mess, set the environment back a couple of years. But otherwise, it's looking pretty good.